What's up, Hambone here, and I'm bringing you a, a new video today covering the new share features of the PlayStation 4 and the share factory uh, editing software that came with it. And um, this is more or less a follow-up video to a video I did back in November covering the um, stock PlayStation 4 share capabilities, or lack thereof, really. And um, yeah, so first off, they've added some pretty cool new features to the PlayStation 4 just in general without going into share factory and one is they have removed HDCP um, from gameplay from games so if you're playing a game you can have HDCP off and you can record with a capture card more easily instead of having to you know weasel your way around by buying whatever to get around the HDCP um, which is cool so if you have a capture card now you have easier access and you don't have to worry about you know using the share button anymore to only record for minutes you record for much easier to record for a bulk amount of times and then they added the ability to change the amount of time you can capture using the share button um, they didn't increase the time limit still 15 minutes is the most but now it's 15 10 5 3 and 1 I believe are the numbers and they've also fixed the share button mm, I guess problems from what I understand, I haven't actually tested that in full. Um, but if you didn't know, there was a problem where uh, I actually showcased in my old video where it wouldn't record the 15 minutes that you just played. It would record, let's say, 10 minutes and 20 seconds of something you did two hours ago. And I know a lot of people had suffered from this problem. Um, I was one of them. But apparently they fixed that in this update, which if they did, that's very cool and very good of them. Um, and then they've also added uh, the ability to get your gameplays onto a USB from your PlayStation 4 to put them on your computer now. So, you know, they've done a lot added to uh, share capabilities. And the Share Factory is their new uh, editing software that comes from the makers of Sony Vegas. Now, I will say this is no Sony Vegas. Don't think you're going to come on here and you're going to have, you know, Sony Vegas quality of software. It's not that good. <laughs> but um it's it's pretty good. I will say that. Uh it's as long as you're just getting your stuff off of your PlayStation 4, I will say it's better than Movie Maker in my opinion. Um but it's probably about as far as it goes it's better than movie maker um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a new project and I'm just gonna show off share factory real quick for you guys and um, yeah so we gonna start a new project and um, the first thing you'll see is us uh, ask you to choose a theme and uh, I guess really the stock ones are the share factory theme and the PlayStation 4 theme then if you play the playroom you can get a playroom theme and uh, if you played Infamous Second Son, you can get an Infamous Second Son theme. I'm not sure if the Infamous and Playroom one comes if you haven't played them. I'm assuming they only you only get access to them if you have played them. I could be wrong. I haven't watched other videos on this yet, so I don't. I would assume that you only have access to them if you've played the game. But I'm going to pick one that everyone has, and then I'm just going to choose the Share Factory theme. And when you pick the theme, you have. Uh, it gives you a, the Share Factory intro, a Share F Factory title card, and then the Share Factory outro. So, you know, if you want some cool intro or outro to your videos, this is a good way to do it. And um, if you don't have access to your own uh, ability to edit things up like that. And then you're allowed to pick, you know, some gameplay. This is you know, a really old knack thing. And then uh, I just recently got this, and that is some Rayman Legends footage. So that's what I'm going to pick, and then I'm going to start the project. And I will rename it, and we will call it... Oh, wrong button. Rayman Share. Yeah. <sighs> and we will continue. So it loads the video up, and I guess I can just go ahead and show what these title cards do real quick. So, I don't know. Oh, there's Sam. Okay. So, you know, you have your intro with Share Factory. Then it gives you a title card that you can change up if you want, which I'll show off in a second. And then it gives you the gameplay. 
which we will just skip through real quick and then you have the outro and they also have some pretty cool um, transitions that they have um, that I think are pretty neat so uh, first things first you can trim the video edit the video much easier uh, just to show this off in the old uh, software you could not cut out parts in the middle of a video well with this now you can we can just go to split clip we will split right here we will split right here and then we can just trash this part in the middle so you know that's new and that's I find that to be a huge feature that they've added I thought that was real annoying with the uh, old PlayStation 4 footage that they didn't add with the old PlayStation 4 uh, share software that they didn't have that you could cut out a piece in the middle you could only trim it so I'm now going to trim this a little bit more and get to the part that I just want to have and here we are so if I can get this right on the money right here so I'm gonna split right here and then we're gonna to toss this and we'll go to the end and we'll trim it a little bit more so now I've got the section of video that I want for the um, primary part of my video and that's just the um, granny world tour of Rayman Legends so <clears throat> With this, I can now uh, go back to my basic tools and I can choose to either continue to edit parts of the video or I can add something to it. I can add another clip if I had it. I can add FX, add a transition, add a commentary, or add some music. Um, this transition I do want to show off real quick, so I'm going to pick a good spot for this. Just probably right here, yeah. So. I'm just going to split the video one more time. And we're going to go back. And now I'm going to add a transition. And they give you some options. Um, the wipes, I think, aren't all that impressive, in my opinion. They seem pretty uh, lackluster, I guess is the word. Um, the dissolves are pretty standard, you know, you can use them with really anything. And then the cinematic ones, if you really, really want to, uh, you know, try, you know, want to add something fancy, I guess. So um, I'm just going to add, uh, let's add one of these infamous second sun ones. So, yeah, let's see if that worked. I did not last as long as I thought it would, but you know you got a transition. But um, I didn't want to add that at the beginning or the end because that already because the video already kind of has a transition to it, so it wouldn't really show up. Now you can also add effects to the video. Um, you can add a new layout to the video, which these I think are pretty cool. Um, like this one in particular, I like. You can add a filter. Which, if you want to Instagram your video up, go ahead, I guess. I don't really see a big use for these. You can add theme stickers, and then you can add stickers, which include the theme stickers. And I, for the most part, think these are kind of useless. I guess the, the speech bubbles could have use if you were making a skit out of a video. Um, and then maybe the fail, the pwn, the pow, the kapow, the thumbs down and thumbs up sticker could have a use. But, you know like this 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 you know like a lot of these I don't really see a real use for those but they're there if you want them um, but I am going to change the layout of the video and then I'm also going to add some text to the video uh, what do I like well, let's go with this and you can type whatever you want I'm just gonna type Rayman again and um yeah so i got the text now and this will actually last across the entire vi this entire video section um if you want to change up you know where you had the text at that actually started later than i thought it would well it will it will remain for the rest of the clip um 
but let's say you want it to be from this section to that section let's say you only wanted it from here to here you would have to split the clip right here and then you could um, only have your text at that part uh, you can actually uh, mess with the uh, <laughs> you can actually mess with the words here too on this title card um, example transform I could move I can move this around so it's easy to move your uh, words around and put them exactly where you want them on the vic on the video um, I can change the color of the letters you can justify which means just moving them to the left or right uh, I don't think there's a way to do a um, an outline text but it's not a big deal um, and you know some basic colors for you to choose from so you know this this is better I will say this is better than what um movie maker offers just because I find that movie maker um, has problems when you're editing a lot and when you're you know you you take a you split the clip a lot it has problems this doesn't have any problems as far as I can tell um oh I can also add um music uh now I don't know if how many if any of these are uh What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, free usage, I guess is the way to say it. Um, I don't know if you would put this on your video, if you would get a copyright mark or not. You might. So you might want to look these up before you do. But you do have access to uh, some music. And then you can also uh, import your own music if you want to, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you can also, of course, add... Well, that's not the right button then you can of course add commentary um, if you have a headset of course it comes with that little bud mic you can record your commentary and that will really it's really about all there is to the software but it works very nicely it doesn't have problems like I keep comparing it to movie maker that's what it's closest to in terms of what it offers but um it it offers a little bit it's a little bit better in, Movie Maker just simply because it's a little bit more stable. It doesn't. It doesn't really hinder your. What's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't really hinder your uh, ability to make cuts and split the video at parts. It just lets you make the video, put your stuff in. Uh, you do have to be a little bit more precise on what you want. So you know, like with the lettering like if you want to put text over your video at some point you do have to uh, let it go but here's the full video I'm just gonna let it run through real quickly and uh, just show you off what it did really so enjoy <laughs> 